Hello. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the first mobile episode of the Nobody Asked for This podcast. Now, what I mean by that is um, I've recorded episodes in the car before. That has happened. I've recorded episodes. Um, I feel like I've done a. I've got to have, have done at least one outdoor episode. Actually, okay, no, that's not true. I think episode number two of the Nobody Asked for This podcast. Um, and yes, I do like to repeat the entire title every time I say podcast. That would be the Nobody Asked This podcast. Um, we did an episode from a Dairy Queen drive through which honestly, uh, that was a bucket list. That was a bucket list item, and I'm glad that we did that. No regrets. But this is the first in a while, in about a hundred episodes. So hopefully my car isn't too loud and noisy and car-like. Um, you know, Teslas are normally quiet, so we should be good. Just kidding. I definitely don't have a Tesla. Um, but I am in a bit of traffic, which I think will be good because it will not cause a lot of noise. Because, you know, obviously I'm saying really important things that like, what if I discover like the key to the universe? And it was unfortunately, well, a motorcycle was going, which, what is that? Do you know when you hear a car and they make that really annoying noise and you know like, okay, that for sure means that someone really, really cool is driving the car um, and they would like you to know that? What is that? Like, what button? Like, I don't think my car has that capability. Like, I just have a gas and a brake. So, like, what button are they pressing? Are they on cruise control? Are they... Did they pay for, like, some sort of upgrade? In which case, you have too much money. Like, I just don't get... I don't get the whole the whole deal of what's happening over there. Or, like, I was in a drive through the other day, and I heard, like, vroom, vroom. And it's like, why, like, why is that necessary? Why is that what you decided to do with your time? Also, that must be, like, not to come at you with the, from an environmental angle, but that must be horrible for the planet. So, it really stresses me out. I'm just, one sec, I'm just taking a sip from my Awala. <sighs> yes, I did, I did, in fact, get a Awala water bottle. Now... I got it as a gift, and when I received this gift, I thought two things. I thought, one, how cool. Uh, I'm pretty much an influencer now. And then the second thing I thought was, oh no, I have to change my entire personality. Because my entire, my entire vibe for the past, mm, I don't know, 10 years is... One, I don't really drink too much water. Not in a uh, annoying, like, oh, I don't drink water. I don't like the taste of water. More so in a, um, I just can't deal with the amount of bathroom trips that drinking water requires you to um, practice. Listen, like, I have things to do, places to go, people to see. I can't be in the bathroom every 10 minutes. Um, I'll get to sort of post Awala my feelings on that, but let's step back into pre awala times. I was, I was acting like, honestly, not that I was too good for a water bottle, but I felt comfortable with sort of removing myself from the water bottle Olympics, which is basically every year or two, there is a new fancy water bottle that costs $40, 40 to $50, um, that everyone buys and says it's definitely worth it because you're gonna use a water bottle forever and then a year or two later a new water bottle comes in and you have to get that again and it's like well and here comes another 50 bucks from memory obviously driving i'm trying to be safe i don't have access to google which really is a co-host of the nobody asked for this podcast so we're gonna have to do this like really solo but i think i can do it from memory the water bottles that i remember is i want to say about 10 years ago the, those swell bottles and they they were almost shaped like wine bottles like with the with the bigger base and then they like would go up at the top not up but they would like they had like a curve at the top um i didn't get that but those the problem with those is they were like kind of small so like you really couldn't fit that much water which could have maybe been for me because the whole bladder problem of having to pee every 10 minutes like maybe it was better to leave it at a smaller serving size. So that was that. And what, and the swell really got you because they had different, um, they had different like, not covers, but different um, 
like prints. So there was like an animal print one. There was a like a themed one. I think they had like a sports collection. So it's like it looked like a baseball. It looked like a not a hockey ball, but you know what I mean. It looks like different sports discs. I don't know. Um, and then one second, I'm just merging onto the freeway at a snail's pace because everyone has decided to get in my way. Can you just please let me in? People are rude. No, no one wants to let me in. Okay. I guess I'm not turning, question mark. Just let me in, anybody? No, they're like aggressively not letting me in. Please, oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, people don't wave anymore. I'll get back to the water bottles, but I don't know what happened. People don't wave anymore. In the grand scheme of it, I haven't been driving that long, so I don't. I can't say like people don't wave like they used to because I would. What the heck do I know about what they used to do? But I feel like when I was in a car driving, or no, in a car as a passenger, not driving. I feel like when you know someone would let you into a lane, like you would wave. People don't. People don't wave anymore. And then people also. Um, have decided that if they hear like a, a sort of like an emergency vehicle coming, they've decided that they don't need to pull over for that either. Like, what the hell? There's like the last few times it's happened, like I, I've been the one pulled over with the hazards and people were literally honking at me. Like, why did you pull over? Because people love to do like the, the thing where it's like, oh, you know, if they're, if, because I guess the rule is, well, I know the rule is like, if there is a cement median separating you and the emergency vehicle like you don't have to you don't have to pull over because there's not like a logical explanation for them to get to your side of the road but when this happened and people were honking at me like there wasn't a median so it's like why weren't you pulling over and then one time I saw someone I believe it was like a fire someone driving a fire truck I guess someone tried to cut them off so the, the person parked their fire truck, got out in the middle of the intersection and started like yelling at the person that didn't pull over for them, which I re like, I get it. Like they didn't, they should have pulled over for you, but also like, don't we have an emergency to attend to? Like I'll let me do it. You know, I'll, I, I will give the lecture and then you get to the, the person that needs you. But anyway, back to the swell water bottle. The, that was the first one that I remember. And then after that, I want to say, what was after the swell? The next big one I remember was the Hydro Flask, but I want to say that, no, that was probably five or six years ago. Okay, so that makes sense. Hydro Flask. The Hydro Flask was, it, it was huge. It was like a canteen. Um, not a canteen. I think a canteen is circular, but it was pretty big. Um, and that was, yeah, I want to say like 2017. There wasn't. There really wasn't anything super special about the Hydro Flask. It had a like sippy cup lid, but it had like a, the screw on top, so it was like a cap. But the cap was connected to the spout via plastic. What's a string? Not a string, but like a little plastic thing. So that was that. I didn't participate in that water bottle either. And then the water bottle after that that I can really remember was the oh no it was like a hydro flask and the one after that it looked exactly like a hydro flask but it was called like a therma something it was basically a um a knockoff hydro flask that for some reason was able to usurp the original hydro flask and then it was the stanley now what's inter interesting about the stanley is it's not really like it is a water bottle but it's not really because most of them have like a straw so like if you tip it upside down all your water is coming out albeit slowly because it has to funnel through the straw but it's still coming out so that one was really confusing to me um like when i would go on my hikes because i i'm just kidding i don't hike but if i were to go on a hike i feel like i wouldn't take that one because it's so heavy but two like if you trip or like I don't know, trip over a rock, like your water bottle is going to spill. You can get like dirt in it. Like I don't love like an open, an open, um, open air water bottle because then who knows, like a ant could fly in there. Like just not, it's not, it's not good news. So, so that was that. I also didn't participate in that one. 
then the Awala, which if anyone's wondering, Awala, I guess, not stands for, but is like called that because the word sounds like a koala. And with the way the bottle is shaped, when you, you know, put it up to your mouth to like take a, take a swig, um, it is, one sec, I just realized my heated seat is on and it's 18 degrees, so we're gonna fix that. Um, it's, it's called spring, where it's cold in the morning and you have to turn on the heat and then it's like boiling at night or in the afternoon and you're like carrying your jacket home. So that's, that's the type of weather we're at. I normally do a weather update at the beginning of the show, but I didn't because I just got straight into complaining about water bottles, which is obviously the most important thing. Um, what was I saying? Water bottles, a walla, yes. Because you look like a koala, which I don't know why they then didn't just call it the koala. They wanted to call it the awala. I'm assuming it was some sort of a, like a branding issue or they, they couldn't get the copyright for koala because the koalas probably tried to like sue for their own name back, which obviously koalas, they should get whatever they want. Um, but yeah. So we find ourselves here today in the moment of the Awala, and I, for the first time, have participated in the trend. Now, I'm sure everyone's wondering, I did because I teased this 10 minutes ago, I'm sure everyone's wondering how the bathroom trips have been. Not as bad as usual. About five years ago, I got like a no-name brand um, water bottle from just like the grocery store, and it was huge, like it was like, probably at least a liter, if not more. This one I have now is probably like half a liter. So that works for me because the problem with me is I don't I don't usually get too thirsty. I, before this, didn't drink a ton of water, but if there's water in front of me, like I will drink it and I'll drink it fast. Um, just cause out of boredom, out of just wanting something to do, out of just like, oh, this is cool, this is here, sure. So I have to be really careful that I'm not filling it up multiple times in an hour because I've heard that that is um, actually not healthy. Similar similar to how I found out that if you eat too much fruit, it's like too much sugar. You can actually be physically harmed from drinking too much water. Again, I don't make the rules. I just hear about them, try and instill them into myself, and then try and share them with the three people that listen to the Nobody Asked For This podcast. So... That's that, that's that's all I really can do for that. Um, but yeah, I've, I've been doing good. So, so far, we're liking the the, uh, the water bottle. It's not something that I probably would have bought myself because that would require like going to a store or going on Amazon. And that's just like a few too many steps for something that's not an absolute necessity. Um, but I like it. So if you're thinking about it, maybe maybe go for it. Um, I do want to start putting like syrup from TJ Maxx into my water. I think that's like, from what I've heard on YouTube shorts, that is the hip and cool thing to do. So there's that, so stay tuned. Maybe I can do some, some sort of a ranking of like the best flavors to buy. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Alrighty, what else is happening? I have to say, I am really putting my all into this episode of the Nobody Asked For This podcast because I have all the windows up. Up meaning like not down. I guess, yeah. So I get confused sometimes like windows up, windows down, like open or closed. All my windows are closed because the sound would be terrible. Now I'm in not standstill traffic, but like, like moving, moving a little bit traffic. So the sound wouldn't be too bad uh, because, you know, the air, it's really the wind that, that does you in, um, I'll trademark. But it's looking like the traffic is not as bad as it usually is, which of course this would, ha- this would happen to me. Like the one day I would be okay with a little bit of traffic because I'm, you know, multitasking. Of course it's not so bad. Traffic is such an interesting thing. I think there should be we just need to do something with it. Like if maybe we could do like a like a concert, if there could be like, uh, what are those things that people love to, oh, the holograms. There should be like holograms that can perform in traffic 
or like, I don't know. I guess I guess everything is distracted driving. So how do we do? Is podcasting while driving? That's fine, right? It's just like I'm on speakerphone. I'm not looking at anything. I think that's fine. Although I guess people used to be on their cell phones to drive. That's actually crazy that it was at one point legal to just be like texting on your phone. And what's even crazier is that at the time when it was legal to text and drive, the version of texting that was that was being done was the one with the three but with the with the numbers and then the letters at the bottom. How did that how did that happen? Just in general. Forget having to drive and do that at the same time, but like that would take me literally forever. By the time I had a phone, everything was mostly touchscreen. There were still some sort of the the ones that either like a BlackBerry with the key with the keypad, or like it was a touchscreen, but then if you turn it to the side and like slid it up, there was a another there was like a keyboard. But by the time I got a phone, we weren't doing the um, the keypad where you had to click the button however many times to get to whatever letter. Like that would take me forever. I actually want to buy. I think during COVID, when I like was just bored, I wanted to. I almost bought a Motorola Razor, like one of the old flip phones. I feel like I did order that and I don't ever remember it coming. So I need to check the status of that order. Maybe it got trapped. Maybe it, just, maybe it got stuck somewhere because I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I ordered it and I can't ever remember using it. Okay, there's a loud truck next to me. So I hope, I hope that is not affecting the quality. Either way, if you or someone you know was really fast at doing the texting with the with the old school keypad, just know I salute you. I don't know, I was gonna do like some sort of call to action. I don't know what I would get you to, to do or ask of you, but just give yourselves a nice pat on the back. We are now entering the portion of the episode where I start thinking, do I have enough gas to get home? It's my favorite game to play. Um, I think I do. I think I can, I think I can. It's, it's, that's my favorite game to play, but then my other favorite game to play is, um, Were They Honking At Me? I play that one a lot, especially if there's like music on or or there's a lot of people on the road. It's like, okay, there was for sure a car honking, but like, were they honking at me? And it's usually no, because I like to tell myself that, you know, it's not all about you. Like, obviously people aren't just honking at you. Uh, But then sometimes I think, is that just me being in denial? You never know. You, You truly never know these days. Okay, what else? Yeah, as I was talking about earlier, I, I was gonna say at the beginning of the show, but I think it might've been toward the middle. Uh, the weather is messed up. It can't decide if it wants to be winter. It can't decide if it wants to be some weird version of fall. Um, we're kind of, it's kind of everything at once. We're slowly starting crawling towards summer, uh, but it's to the point where this morning I woke up and for, there was a solid 10 minutes, and this is not a joke, there was a solid 10 minutes where I, I I kind of woke up and thought it was October. So I was existing in October. Um, and I honestly, I was happy with it. I feel like if you had to ask me my favorite season, which everyone obviously was wondering, um, at, right after people wondering my favorite water bottle, people always say, hey, what is your favorite season? And my favorite season, which now I hear the question as like, I would say, what favorite season of what? Because everything's so much about TV these days that when I hear the word season, I relate it to like a TV show, not the ecosystem. Long story short, my favorite season is fall. But because of how my brain works and how like nothing is good enough and I'm always kind of longing for what was, my favorite season is usually the one that just passed. So like in winter, my favorite season is fall. But in spring, my favorite season is winter. And then in summer, no, I like the spring. I'm either complaining that it's too hot or it's too cold. So in that regard, fall and spring are nice because there's kind of, it's kind of like milder, especially where I am. And it doesn't get like too hot or too cold, but when you're too hot is not too hot and you're too cold is not too cold, the middle is too close to both of those things. Did that make sense? That was either, the smartest or dumbest thing I've ever said. 
Um, I would like to take that sound clip and sell it, sell it to somewhere. Um, okay, I've moved into the fast lane, people. It's happening. It's actually, honestly, the traffic is not so bad. Maybe it's because I was paying attention to my own voice talking and was sort of keeping myself company via the Nobody Asked For This podcast. But um, it has not been so bad. I'm actually, not to brag, I'm overseas. By that I mean I'm on a bridge. Which, here's the thing, I have a lot of like, not irrational fears, well, <laughs> I have a lot of those like, like heights, I don't love heights. I feel like you shouldn't love heights. Anyone that loves heights, I have questions for. But like, for some reason, I'm not scared of a bridge. And I'm gonna stop thinking about it now so that I don't like find reasons to be scared and just live in my in my truth at the moment. There are a lot of Teslas. Like, every other car is like becoming a Tesla. Maybe not every other, but like every fourth car is a Tesla. I, I think Teslas might become the new iPhone where like everyone has it. And like for a while, like when iPhones first came out, it was like this huge, like almost like a status symbol. And now it's just like the norm. So I'm just wondering like, are the, are, are, you know, people that want to use their car as a status symbol that got Teslas 10 years ago to like show off? Like, are they now scrambling for like the next Tesla? I don't know. It's just, again, I don't have any of the answers. I only have the questions. And we'll continue to ask them. Okay, now I'm really moving. Now this is like, this is like normal Saturday morning on the freeway, windows open, except they're not because that would be horrible sound quality. Um, yeah. My, the, honestly, the traffic's not so bad. Life hack, if you want to have no traffic, record a podcast. Or just like maybe carpool with a buddy and then you can go into that faster lane. Does everywhere have that? Or is that just like a certain areas? Do you, does everyone have like a carpool lane? Which is now, speaking of Tesla's, becoming the electric car lane, which I understand, it makes sense. I don't know. Um, also update on the gas. We're, we're getting to that last notch before we get into the red. I don't fully know how many like kilometers or miles or whatever my car can go without um, you know before it's like I'm on the side of the road without any gas it hasn't happened yet thankfully um, so yeah I just kind of cross my fingers that's all that's all you can really do I'm driving up next to someone who has the same car as me should I wave okay let's see if they wave at me oh no I actually think he was texting Sir, you cannot be texting and driving. You can only be recording a podcast. Don't worry. I would just like to um, reiterate, I have a phone stand. I clicked the button once to record and my hands have been on the wheel. 10 and two, or closer to a, what would this be? Four, no, probably like a, like a, I'm more of like a five, a four, no, like a four, seven, you know, four, eight. Is that, is there rules against that? I feel like nobody does 10 and two. I feel like you don't have control. Like nine, three is better than, okay, let me try it. Live footage of me trying all of the different wheel positions. Okay, 10 and two. I'm not loving it. Nine and three. This feels decent. Okay. Yeah, nine, whatever the, the lower, the underneath of nine and three is. What would that be? Four and nine, four, eight, four, eight, four, eight. I think that's, that's what we should be teaching in. And I think that's what we should be teaching in driving school. Okay, now I have to do a couple, merge a couple lanes over. Everybody, please let me in. Okay, I'm now exiting the freeway. What is that called? Like, I, like, oh, actually, I guess it's called an exit. Never mind. I always get confused with the with the version of it where you're going on. Like, what's the opposite of exit? Entrance? 
Yeah, but you never hear anyone call it that. They always call it the exit. Because it is until it isn't. Also, where I am, the exit numbers, like, they're not in order. It'll be like exit 1, exit 17, exit 4, exit 82. Like, I would like an explanation for that. Like, why, why do that to me? Like, why do that to me? And if you have an explanation, like, I would like to hear it. And, and I'll, I'll accept it. Like, I'm not unreasonable. But, like, what, what, is the, what is the reason for this? For this nonsense? Alrighty. I've, I've almost, almost made it to my destination. That calls for an Awala sip. Um... I guess I can start saying it now. I hope everybody has a splendid week, weekend, day, evening, afternoon, month, year. You never hear anyone say have a good month. I'm going to say that. We're coming up on we're coming up on June, which funnily enough, I made this big hullabaloo for the countdown to the 100th episode of the Nobody Asked This podcast, but we're coming up on another anniversary, the two-year anniversary of the Nobody Asked With This podcast. We are going to be two, I believe, not the next episode, but the episode after that will be like a couple days before we would be two. So we'll just celebrate then. I think that sounds like a plan. You're about to hear a lot of um, clicking noises from the turn signal, because uh, I am I'm about to reach my destination. So. I want to thank you all for listening. I hope you all have a great end of the month so that when I, uh, when I find you back again in June, when it's January, because it's going to be cold, get it, January? I definitely didn't make that up. That's a thing. But when I find you back here in June, I can wish you all a glorious month. Um, I've never used that word glorious before and I feel uncomfortable having to, having done so, but that's okay. Um, I hope you all have enjoyed this on the go episode of the Nobody Asked For This podcast. I promise not to make a habit out of it, but listen, I got things to do, people to see, you know, sometimes you have to multitask in order to, you know, reach your self-imposed deadline for your self-imposed podcast that barely anyone except yourself listens to. Like, that's just the type of things you have to do as a, as really, I really as a small, as a small business owner. Um, but, cause, and listen, I had to take too many bathroom breaks this week. So it's like, that is the time, you know, that combined half an hour really took up the time that I would be normally recording again that nobody asked for this podcast that is actually a brilliant idea maybe for the next episode or for one of the upcoming episodes I'll do like uh okay is this too much we used to do a segment called gut date which was uh talking about anytime our gut had like a major update that needed to be shared so like I'll let you kind of fill in the blanks on that um but we've talked about microbiome our gut microbiome Um, gut flora. I never fully got full um, context on what those concepts mean. I just know that they exist, which is nice. Um, But yeah, maybe next time, or one episode, one of these days, maybe for the two-year anniversary, it can just be like five minutes a day for, what is that, seven days? For like a week? That could be cool. That could also be really bad because it could just be me seven separate times talking about the weather for five minutes so again we're just getting out we're getting out the good ideas we're getting out the bad ideas i am happy to report that i in fact did have enough gasoline to get me to where i needed to go um it was touch and go there for a second luckily we made it um i actually need to do a clean out of my car i for some reason, like, can't keep my car clean. I can't keep much clean. My desk is always a mess. My living space, always a mess. My car, mess. Like, I just can't. And then even, like, I'll clean it and it'll still look messy. I don't know if that's just a me thing. Either me as, like, how I see things or me as in, like, I'm just sort of like a bit of a tornado. Which is what it is. But, yeah, I'm, I'm going to work on that. I, I will continue to update you. 
And um, yeah, I hope you all have a great week and I will see you next time. Bye.